So I put on my Twitter that I was going to do a garage sale haul. And um, what that really is to me is um, all the actually good stuff that um, you can find at garage sales and stuff. Um, I say stuff a lot. Um, that you can use uh, in your wardrobe to help fit your budget, but also let you look completely awesome, do all the things uh, that any department store or like TJ Maxx or um, like Urban Outfitters and stuff like that. Um, so, first off, let's see, what should I show first? Um, okay. Um, so first off, I got this, um, ring, I don't know if you can see it now, um, it's a bow, and, um, it's kind of antique looking, but, uh, it's kind of has a beige color, and, um, I got that for, like, a dime, and, um, it's just a really cute piece, um, also, I got, um, this ring, um, it, um, it's just from a brooch somebody made into a ring, and, um, I don't know, it's really pretty. Uh, it's big and chunky, and just, um, it has, uh, red and, um, the green and the gold in it, which I have a lot of in my wardrobe, so it really fits in with what I'm doing. Um, and then what I also got, because I kind of got a lot of bow stuff, I got this little pin. That is a bow. You can see it's a pin. Um, and there's a really easy way to like just take off this back stuff and then put it on a regular ring. And then there you have is a bow ring that you made yourself. So I'm very excited about that. Lastly, for the jewelry that I got, um, are a pair of um, gold and like jeweled bows. Um, actually wore them for work Oops. wore them for work uh, last night I got a lot of compliments about them um, all of this stuff I actually bought for like 50 cents and because it was all at the same place and so like this little thing with all of the stuff um, was 50 cents and all of its um, cute stuff that go with um, my I guess style and then um, a lot of it is um, just stuff that's kind of cool right now. Um, I'm gonna put this up closer. Oh my gosh. Okay. Mm. Got this little pink headband because I'm starting to do the whole little Barbie pink thing. So it's a good, nice neon. Um, and it shows up really light. It's much darker than it is um, showing up in the camera. So that's fun. Um, Okay, I don't know if any of you, like, tan or do any of that kind of stuff, um, or if you use, like, self-tanners, or you go to, like, a tanning salon or whatever. I usually just, I'm working outside, I'm walking around, I'm walking my dog, I'm doing different stuff outside, so I'm getting tan that way, but, um, there are places, like, with my, where my bra strap is, because you can kind of see... Um, I'm really tan or red-ish because part of it, uh, part of it is the summer, and I'm really um, light right here. Um, so to like even that out later, um, I got this, and you can find that in the store, and it's the Jergens Natural Glow, and it's a medium skin tone. Um, and it's like, well, where I go, it's like ten bucks for a bottle like this at the store, and I got it for a dollar. So um, this is just a, and it's. Full, I think. Let's see. Yeah, there's like none has been used, so it's really fun. Um, um, so this is just really good. Um, it's a good way to be frugal with um, how you're spending, so you don't always have, like, are going to like the dollar store or Walmart, but you're getting like name brand stuff or stuff that you want to use um, for cheaper, which is which is just good. Um, I also got, um, when I go to work, um, walking around a lot and just walking with my dog and just doing everything. My feet have gotten really rough, which is totally gross and not sexy or anything. 
So I was also able to get this unused um, bottle of just uh, the bare feet uh, foot soap and um, I used it last night and it helped so much. Um, it is a great product. I've never used it before but um, like if you see products like this um, and you go out garage selling or you go thrifting or you do like really discount stuff um, you can use it or try it out um, and then like see if you like this product or you like something different um, and it really helps you decide what you need in your um, wardrobe or things like that. Okay, um, I got some clothes. I'm gonna scoot this back. I'm not eating. So I got just a nice um, beige top. So it's gonna be a little big because I've lost 20 pounds, which is where I was before, but. Um, uh, it's just, it, it settled more, um, cause I was starting to fluctuate a bit, but it settled more, so that's good. Um, and I was actually watching the YouTuber Trisha yesterday, and she went to Urban Outfitters and got a, um, men's striped shirt, and I thought that was totally cute, but Urban Outfitters is totally out of my, of my price range. Um, I'm about to be moving into an apartment, which I've said a lot. Um, I'm also a student, um, so I don't really have a lot of money. Um, so doing this kind of stuff really helps. And actually, I was able to find this, and it fits me super well. And it's just a nice dress top. Um, and so I was just able to really get in. Um, it was a women's. Oh, I don't even have to iron it. That's good. I don't have the same either, but it looks like really good in the same so see the the lines are really small because big lines sometimes look good on me sometimes they don't um but this looks really good um the next thing i got from it's white stag and i like that brand just because they make good quality clothes um is i got this cute little um knit cardigan and so i don't know if it's really good um it comes it's 104 degrees outside, and I'm putting on a sweater to show you. So, that's that's kind of ridiculous. So, um, it just has one button, and it's one of those snap buttons, so you can't even see it. See? So, um, you can look down. So, it just kind of goes like that, and so it's a snap button, and then you push these out. Okay. I just, it'll look really cute for, um, winter and stuff, and keep me warm. It'll look cute for um, school and, and walking around and, um, dates if I have them. Um, the last piece of clothing I got, which I'm really excited about because I was looking for a black blazer or just like a blazer in general, and I got a Liz Claiborne one, and I'm going to put this one on because I love it. Um, this is what it looks like, and it's, it's a longer blazer, um, but it's super cute, um, and it fits me. It's usually because I have fatty and muscular. Can I get this on? <laughs> fatty and muscular arms. Um, sometimes stuff doesn't fit me um, in the arms, but this one does, and uh, it just is a is a nice piece to have, and it's very. Um, it can be dressed down. It can be dressed up, um, which I really like. Um, so get out of this. <laughs> um, let's see there's anything else. I got a lot of crafty stuff. Um, cause I said I'm doing a lot of do it yourself stuff and just glamming up stuff that I have in my room um, and making it more for me. Um, so I got like loads of glitter. I got different fabrics. I have like a neon pink fabric. I have a floral fabric and just new stuff like that. I got, um, oh, I got this bag. It's a guest bag. Can you see this? It's a guest bag, 50 cents. There is a little bit of um, tearing right here, but I actually have an old um, brooch or something that I'm gonna put over that, and it's gonna cover that right up, and you won't even know. So that's very exciting. Um, and I got one more purse. It's just a brown, um, just like a bowl looking one, the scoop one, which is not in here right now. 
But, um, let's kind of see if I got, I got a lot of other, just kind of stuff like that. Um, like thread and stuff like um, that for my sewing kit. But, um, yeah, that's all the crazy stuff I found um, garage sailing this last day. So, um, totally happy about that. Um, it, it really helps to be frugal and want to do that kind of stuff. Um, be, just because, um, it saves you money, it, it helps you get things that you wouldn't usually use, um, or buy, because if you're buying second hand or whatever, you're more likely to try, um, a different style of clothes or a different dress or something like that, and I think that's helped me so much throughout my life, because, um, my mom and my grandmother have done this, and most people look at garage sale and go, ew, that's gross, that's dirty. Yeah, some of them are, but you have to be a smart shopper um, and go to like the clean looking ones and actually know what you're looking for, and if you find something that you like, to make sure that it's in good quality, it's nice, it's not ripped or torn. So it's really like, whenever you're looking at something in a department store, you make sure that nobody's done anything to it or, or something happened to it while somebody was trying it on or anything like that or a malfunction happened with the machine on the one that you're trying on um it's just you're taking regular shopping things into a place where you can be more frugal and actually like barter which is a really fun thing because you'll go up there with like six things in your hand and they'll say oh a dollar each and you'll go well can you do three and cut it down by half and stuff like that and it's really fun because i actually got a desk that way with a printer and a memory card that goes into like a computer and like a uh, camera that I once had and like one other thing all for $35 when they were asking 15 for the printer and 55 for the desk and like five bucks for like the memory card so that's oh, hold on $75 and I got them down to 35 and just like even $75 would have been a great deal, but um, I think it's the fun of going in and um, really wanting something and doing something about it that really works. Um, I'm also going to put up a new video about um, all the crafts I've been doing and um, things that I've done and um, just what I have in store. Just because I have a lot of that kind of stuff, so I have to break up my shopping vlogs and my um this is what i got for crafty and this is what i'm doing right now um so have a great day and i'll see you later Bye bye